Hello, this is Sam from October CMS. Today I want to show you the one click deployment feature that we've been working on. This is a plugin that allows you to deploy your October CMS installation to any remote location with one click. So let's take a look. Before we get started, I'll just show you that I've got my local dev environment here. Uh, I've got October 2 installed and I've got a couple of plugins as well. So I've got the builder plugin and also the deploy plugin, which is the plugin I'll be demonstrating today. So once you install the deploy plugin, you should notice there's a new item in your settings area called deploy. So let's go and click on that. Now, before we get started, um, it's a good idea to make sure that you've got some kind of shared hosting environment set up. So here I've got a, a new fresh cPanel installation and you can see that it's pointing to a primary domain here. Um, so we'll open that and you can see that there's, there's nothing here. It's just a, an empty index. So we haven't installed any applications. Um, there's nothing in the, the file system, but we do have the host name here. So I'll just grab that and copy that to our clipboard. And when you come back to the deploy plugin, you can click create server. And what we'll do is we'll paste in the URL of our server and we can just give it a name as well. So we'll just call it test server. Okay, so the next step is to create a deployment key. So this is an RSA private key. It's very important that this key remain a secret. So it's only stored on the development machine. It isn't transmitted across the internet and it's not stored on the remote server. And so that's really important because it, it creates a very secure channel um, that allows us to push files and push updates to our server. So you can bring your own deployment key. You could paste this in here, uh, but we've also got a little helper here that can generate a new one. And so we'll do that. And there you've got the, the RSA private key. So as I say, it's very important that you keep this a secret uh, because this is what allows you to push changes to the server. So let's go ahead and create this server. Now that we've created our server, the next thing we need to do is deploy our beacon. The beacon is what allows the developer environment to connect to the remote environment. It's a small zip file that you can FTP or upload using a remote file manager, however you like. So let's go and deploy this with an FTP client. So I'll click download beacon files and you can see the zip file has appeared. And I've got an FTP client here called Cyberduck. This is connected to our cPanel environment using FTP. And I'll just drag the files across to upload them. So the upload's complete. We've successfully deployed our beacon. So if we come back here and click check beacon, you can see that it's found the beacon. So it's ready to go, but it hasn't found an installation of October CMS. And so we can confirm this by going to our cPanel host and refreshing the page. And you can see that it's missing the vendor files. So now comes the fun part. It's time to install October CMS. So we can do that by clicking the install button. So what this will do is ask us for the most basic configuration values. So it's already guessed the application URL. So we don't need to change that. We should change the backend URL to something unique for security reasons. But in this case, for the demonstration, we'll just leave it. Uh, we'll be using SQLite because it's a, a very simple way to deploy October. We don't need to set up MySQL or anything like this. So we'll stick with SQLite and then click the install button. From here, the first deployment can begin. This will deploy the local files that we have in our development environment directly to the remote server. Okay, so we've hit our first error here. Now, what this error is saying is that our server is only capable of receiving two megabytes at a maximum. This is the default configuration for cPanel. So what we'll have to do is go and change that to a higher value because October CMS is roughly 20 megabytes. So we can do that by going to the cPanel uh, area here and we do a search for PHP and select the PHP version. This is where you'll find the additional options for PHP. So you can see the options menu here. So we'll click that. And down the bottom, you can see we've got this upload max file size. So there's the two meg limit that we're hitting. So we want to increase this to something more reasonable. Perhaps 128 meg is a good number. 
and you can see post max size is also a limiting factor so we might want to raise this as well to 128 meg great so now that these options are saved in cPanel let's go back to the server manager and click try again hopefully the server will accept our deployment this time So what it's doing here is it's creating a zip file of all the modules and vendor directories that are necessary to run October. It's taking those from the developer environment, not from the October gateway. So once the zip file has been created, it pushes it to your remote server and then gives it the instruction to extract those files. And that's what makes the deployment possible. In the final steps, it will migrate the database and everything should be good to go. And there we see the deployment was successful this time. So let's go have a look at our website. There we go. It's the first installation of October CMS on your remote server. So the first thing we might want to do is uh, sign into the back end area. And you can see that it wants to create an account. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now that we're signed in, let's have a look at our system update area. What you should notice is that there are no plugins or themes installed yet. So the first installation won't install your plugins or themes. You'll have to do that in your first deployment. So let's go back to manage the server. And you can see now that it says that the server is ready to deploy. This is an active status, and this is the status that you want your server in most of the time. So from here, we can click Deploy to Server, and we've got the Builder plugin installed, and you'll notice that that isn't currently installed on the remote server, so let's go and deploy that. So we'll select Rain Lab Builder, and then click Deploy. So just like before, this is going to create a zip file of the selected plugins, push them to the server, extract them, run the migration, and you should see now that the plugin is installed. So let's go have a look. So we'll refresh the back end, and there we have the Builder plugin. It was successfully deployed. And that's really as simple as it gets. It's, it's a very simple system that operates very much like the one-click updater, except instead of pulling the changes, we're pushing the changes to the server instead. So the Deploy plugin also has some other tools that might be useful. As you can see here, you've got the option to update the environment variables on the server. So this might be useful for changing configuration that doesn't apply to your local environment and only applies to the remote environment. So say the link policy might be secure. So we can change that environment variable and click Save Config. And that will also deploy those changes to the website. We also have the ability to run console scripts. So this sort of emulates a shell environment where you can run any PHP code that you like. So in this case, we might want to run an artisan command. So we'll call artisan call October migrate and then return the output. So we can click run on that. And you can see it's run that artisan command. You can also inspect objects on your server. So say we might like to inspect the first administrator account. And you can click, uh, you can press Control Enter to run that. And there you can see we've got the backend user model, and we can make changes to that or inspect the attributes of that model. It's very similar to the artisan command tinker, where you can tinker in PHP. We think this will be a very useful feature for maintaining your websites. So there you have it. That is the deploy plugin. As you can see here, when you click the deploy button, you have the option to deploy your core files. So that would be an update to October CMS. You can deploy the configuration files, so the file-based config in your config directory. Uh, you can deploy all of your plugins and all of your themes with one click. We built this plugin based on your feedback, and we feel it represents a more modern approach to deploying your websites. And we hope you enjoy it. Thanks.